Praise be to Jesus. Well, hello again, everyone. Charles here with you. Um, well, you know, it's one story after another now, and um, I guess um, people who support the Pope and people who don't support the Pope are sort of redoubling their efforts to dig up whatever they can, and, you know, we need to be careful. Um, you know, because, um, you know, um, perhaps some of it is truth, um, maybe most definitely some of it is truth, but most likely, you know, there's going to be stories here that <clears throat> um, just sort of come and go, and um, it's sort of like digging up the dirt, you know, um, that don't, that doesn't really have any substance to it, but I mean, I'm not saying that about this, you know, I mean, I've just been thinking this afternoon about the very quiet civil war that's going on inside the church, so, um, you know, and, um, you know, the press is caught up in that too, and we are too, and, you know, in war, um, not only the uh, en enemy gets, uh, you know, persecuted in the least anyway, um, you know, um, uh, they, you know, the innocent get caught up in all this too. So, you know, I just wanted to say that I, I'm not saying that's what's going on in this story. I mean, I really don't know. This is, uh, this is something from um, a while ago. Uh, but now it's being associated with the Pope, so excuse me a minute while I cough. <clears throat> okay, well, let me read a little bit of this to you. Um, Pope Francis gave a Vatican apartment to a priest who was later caught hosting a drug fuel homosexual orgy in that same apartment despite being warned about the priest's grave problems. A highly placed Vatican source told LifeSite News in an exclusive interview. It was Francis himself, the source said, who made sure that a homosexual secretary of his friend, Cardinal Francisco Coco Palmerio, would obtain a privileged apartment in the Vatican. Cardinal Coco Palmerio then pre-president of the Pontifical Council for Legislative Texts and one of Pope Francis's closest collaborators and ardent supporters had spoken in 2014 about the positive elements in homosexual relationships. You know, um, people who defend the Pope, yeah, excuse me, I got an itch. Um, people who defend the Pope, um, you know, look at this in a, in a way um, that says, um, you know, he's so merciful and, um, you know, he likes, wants to give people second chances. You know, they're associating this kind of um, attribute to the Pope uh, also in the McCarrick thing, you know, like, you know, why did he withdraw the sanctions that Pope Benedict had put on him? Um, and they're, they're saying it's because, you know, or at least some people are saying it has to do with mercy. Um, you know, so they don't see things the same way the, man, I hate to say the other side, but, you know, um, so some others of us um, look at it, you know. Um, you know, I mean, to me personally, it just seems to be poor judgment and uh, misplaced mercy. Um, you know, I, I think in these kinds of cases um, where you're going to give, let's say, a priest who uh, has, you know, there's evidence against that um, he's been involved in something inappropriate, uh, I really think they need to be, if it's possible, maybe one thought would be to give them a mentor who would keep a very close um, eye on them. Um, you know, but um, I don't know, you know, all this is, you know, and, and then, the, you know, the article is going to go on here. Vatican police arrested Coco Palmario, Secretary Monsignor Luigi Caposi, Ugh, all these Italian names, which I, I am Italian, so I, I still have trouble with these names, 
in a raid last year after they broke up the cocaine fuel homosexual party in the Vatican apartment next to St. Peter's Basilica. Well, the article goes on if you want to read more. There's, uh, you know, always in the articles, uh, I've told you this several times, but there's always people joining the, um, the channel. Um, you know, in the articles, there are, um, you know, what, what, uh, what you might think is just some words that I'm reading is actually a, a link to another story. So there's several of them in here. Um, you know, if you want to, if you're interested in this particular topic. Um, so anyway, that's what, that's what this says. And, um, um, we'll just leave it at that for the time being. Um, all right, then, uh, there's some other news here I, I need to take a look at, and you'll probably hear from me again here in a little while. All right, well, if, um, if I don't talk to you later, then enjoy your day or evening, or, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.